everyone in this video i want to talk to you guys about the position and displacement vector in two dimension as familiar let's pick our two axis coordinate system let's call it our horizontal axis here we go we have the x-axis and here we have our vertical axis y-axis okay so x hat y hat if you want to call it then in this two-dimension plane let's think about an object moving from one location to the next location so initial i could say this is the initial location of the object i could say x initial comma y initial initial location initial coordinates of this object i could draw the vector arrow starting from here the origin i can draw the initial position vector there we go i can label it as initial position vector r initial it is a vector it has a direction and has a length to this arrow let's assume from this location initial the object is moving to another location let's say somewhere here this has x final and y final the coordinates to the final location same method from the origin i could draw the position vector to this location final position vector r final this is a vector vector notation final position vector now here comes we have initial and the final position vectors here we come to the displacement you will see in textbooks it says the displacement is a vector that is the shortest distance from the initial to the final location so the shortest distance from the initial to the final position let's do let's believe it for now let's draw the displacement vector there we go shortest distance the straight line we draw from the initial position to the final position let's call it delta r we are in two dimension to account both x-axis and y-axis x component y component let's call it the delta r now from what we learned from the previous lecture or the vector addition graphically let's try to work on this triangle right here we have starting point right here we have one vector here we go r initial we have another vector this guy right here delta r and we have our third leg or the third vector here we go r final okay if you guys remember the vector addition graphically starting from the first vector tail of the first vector to the tip i have r initial bring the second vector to the tip of the first vector there we go we have the second vector done i write it as delta r we went through this path all the way from here we went along this path done now it's time for us to go the other path there we go the graphical method of vector addition says when you have two vectors from the first vector tail to the head second vector tail to the head you start from the first vector you go from tail to the tip of the final vector you should get the resulting vector we go from here to the tip here we have r final let me rearrange this formula a little bit i will subject here delta r i am moving this guy to the right hand side i will have r final minus r initial if you remember in one dimension you had the displacement vector along the x direction that is equal to x final 
minus x initial. This was one dimension displacement vector. We have final minus initial. Same way we got this formula right here for the two dimension, final position minus initial position vector. So remember everyone always the displacement vector, no matter one dimension, no matter two dimension, displacement vector points from the initial position all the way to the final position. Here we go, delta r. That's the first part of this video. And not only just two locations, initial, final, we could have other examples. As an example, I could say in a two-dimension example, let's think about a real-life situation. This is my north, this is my east, south, and the west. Let's say I am starting from here, from the origin at my home. I am driving my truck towards south for one mile. Okay, one kilometer, let's say one kilometer. And I take a left turn going towards the east. There we go, another two kilometers. In my motion, these are intermediate locations. From here, I would take another turn and head north for three. I went this way down south, this way towards east. To this location, I drove almost three kilometers heading up north. And I could say I want to turn back. I am heading one kilometer towards west. And this is my final location. This could be with angles, random directions, any. This is just an example. So as you can see, this is my initial position. These were my intermediate locations that I try to turn around. But right here, this is my final location. So you could say, this is my initial final. Now remember, you can draw the vector, displacement vector from the initial to the final location. There we go. No matter what you do in between, not just two location, initial to final. No, any intermediate you had, intermediate steps you had, you can always say initial location to the final location, initial position to final position. Here we have the displacement vector. This is a vector in two dimension. If you remember, now we can connect this guy to this vector, you could talk about from the positive x direction, how much is this angle theta, alpha, how much is that? You can talk about how big is this y component? How big is this x component, delta x, delta y? Or someone would call this guy as the east component. This guy as delta y, you could say north component. You can use your vector knowledge to talk about the x, y, or the east component, north component. And you can use your knowledge to say how big is this displacement vector, the magnitude, what is the direction of the final displacement vector. So any example we could use our previous knowledge about the vectors, but it's just a matter of drawing and from initial to final location, draw the displacement vector. Okay, that's it.